Hi friends, and what are we doing on the roof today? Uh, up there is a particular kind of cloud formation. They call it popcorn. Doesn't that look like popcorn? That's not what I'm doing on the roof today. Please enjoy my stories or whatever else might be on my mind today. What's going on today is that I had a problem with my Tanako. Sorry about the vertical picture. I was in plumber mode, not videographer mode. This is a Tanako. It's 750 liters of water on my roof. And I thought the problem was this valve here. So I replaced the valve. And uh, I'm going to give you the price comparisons between that valve and Home Depot in the United States here in a minute. But I replaced the valve and in order to do that, you have to take off the float. And this is the float here. And I realized the problem wasn't the valve. The float is full of water and weighs about three pounds. <laughs> so it wasn't floating. And I got a new one. So that's what's going on. Got to put the new float right there so that when the water comes up, it shuts the valve off. The problem the other night or last night was that water was running out of this hole over here because it was overfilled. The valve wasn't shutting off and it was running off over there onto our kitchen patio. So I went out and shut it off in the street and I'm fixing it. Bienvenidos de Mexico. <laughs> oh, it's filling the Tanaco. So what's the price comparison? Here you go. Home Depot in the United States, $45 for that same brass valve. I paid 275 pesos, which is $13.48, uh, less than a third of the price. Home Depot, the United States, $9.23. Are you sitting down? $2.25 at my hardware store down the street here in Mexico. Today's harvest, cucumbers, beets, butternut squash. That? What do you think about that? I think that's just marvelous. Yeah? Yeah, we've done good. Well, I think we did. Yep. So I think I planted this stuff in late April. Today's uh, middle of July. Late April? Yeah. When did we come home? Beginning of April. This chair is wet. <laughs> I bet you it's not just the chair now. <laughs> sorry. Nice going. I, I'm sorry. I was washing the cucumbers with the hose. Yeah. Yeah. Is there something you wanted to tell me about that old cucumber over there on the end? That must be for me. Huh? <laughs> it's kind of a Osbo, isn't it? Yeah, it is. Do you think it's pretty? <laughs> huh? It's a legitimate question because when we used to go out to the... It looks Christmas... like a chicken. No. A baby chick. Let's see. That looks like a chicken. Oh, yeah. Sort of does. Anyway, I started to say it's a legitimate question about whether you think that's pretty or not because when we used to go to the Christmas tree farms up in Oregon for Christmas to go and get our Christmas tree, who always got to pick the tree? Me. And what was it always the most beautiful, the most well-shaped, the most symmetrical tree on the lot? No. No, it was the ugliest one you always felt bad for. Uh, you never let me bring it home. Oh, yes. Now, no. well, here, you can take that cucumber home. 
Oh, you are home. <laughs> so we're at Scallions this evening. Here's the menu if you want to pause and look over the whole thing. Lynn had stir fry Buddha's Delight, 160 pesos, $7.41 US dollars. I had prosciutto Toscana, stuffed pork chops. Uh, 170 pesos, $8.33 at today's U.S. dollar exchange rate. I also had a Caesar salad. It was very good. $4.50. Well, I'm sorry that I didn't take a picture before I ate, but I was hungry. It was a stuffed pork chop, stuffed with spinach and sun-dried tomatoes and stuff. Mashed potatoes. Carrots, broccoli, beets, and Lynn had Buddha's stir fry. How was it? Huh? It was good, but not as good as yours. Well, thank you. I appreciate the thought. <laughs> so, I have a question for you. Yeah, I'll have an answer. No doubt. I've gotten several comments on my YouTube channel that I shouldn't have planted mint in my boat. That's absolutely right. What? Well, they say because it'll take over. That's right. That's what it'll do. Okay. Well, I'm going to go find a pot to put it in. That was the recommendation is that you put it in a pot so That's it can't... That's a good idea, and i got plenty of pots laying around. I'll find one so it can't get away. Yeah. Well, I'm going to take that recommendation and yours. Well, put it on a permanent tape where I can look at it occasionally. Put what on a permanent tape? That they're taking my advice. <laughs> <laughs> I'll see you later. Okay. That's the pot I'm going to put two of the plants in. And the advice is turning out to look better and better because, check this out. This is the root ball. It is twice as big as when I planted it there 10 days ago. Well, what should I plant there? Deadheading my basil. It is so comfortable to not have to bend over to take care of my garden. I didn't really think about that when I was making the boat for this purpose but I'm surely appreciating it now. Hi friends. I wanted to talk about another one of the comments I got the other day when I was talking about my building carpentry projects. Oh, hey, look behind me there. Let's talk about that for a second. Lynn and I used to do stained glass as a hobby. I've always been fascinated with Mount Olympus and Greek mythology and philosophy and Mount Olympus is where the Greek gods lived and I'm not a good enough artist to portray the home of the gods so this is my rendition of leaving Olympus. You have to imagine what's behind you as you walk through the the last arch on your way out of the God's home. But back to my concrete tunnel here. You see it's kind of flat on the side, that door. Oh, by the way, did I ever talk to you about the reading light? <laughs> 
That door, in fact, has a flat spot on it. And the comment that we're going to talk about was the guy said, Jerry must have been drunk when he made that door. It's got a flat side. And in fact, it does have a flat side. But whoever you were, I don't remember. You got the cart before the horse. The reason there's a flat side is because the concrete tunnel was built before I made the door to fit the tunnel. You can't do that if you're drunk. <laughs> hey, if you like me, give me one of those thumbs up. And please subscribe and hit that little bell so you know when I post next. Please share me with your friends on social media. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed what was on my mind today.